I'm going to share my entire mini designer bag collection with you, including brands like Chloe and Chanel. Everything will be linked down below in the description box for you. And I'll tell you which one is my favorite in the end of the video. Leave me a comment down below to let me know which one is your favorite from my collection or your collection. Let's get right into the video. Let's start with my Chloe Mini Marcy that I got last summer. It's just such a classic Chloe bag and this is how you open it. This is how the inside looks like. You have an extra pocket in the front and this is how the back looks like. And the, the strap is adjustable but not detachable. This is our sold together. And I really like the bag is so carefree. It's also a really casual and a practical bag. You will be able to fit a lot of things. For example, like I can still fit my iPhone 13 Pro Max easily and after I put in my phone, it still has a bunch of room in it. So although it's a mini bag, but I feel like it has really good space compared to other mini bags. A while back when Stanley got sick, he puked on me. The vomit got everything on my body, including what I'm wearing. But luckily that day I was carrying Chloe Mini Marcy. So the vomit got on the bag, but I was easily able to clean the bag after using water wipe just wipe the surface the vomit out and after that and i just used some leather conditioner to put on top of it and you can't see marks or anything left on top of the bag that's why i feel it's such a easy to care back that you don't have to worry about it at all. I'm seriously so grateful that I was wearing this bag that day. This bag is still under a thousand dollars. If you are looking for something under a thousand dollars mini bag carefree and this is definitely the bag that you can go for also this color that goes with di many different colors and outfits and i'll leave the bag down below for you to check it out the next one is my chloe nile bag and i still remember how much i used to love this bag when it was first out it is a, still a really pretty bag and just look at the bracelet the bag says chloe here and this is how the bottom looks like and this is the back and then you have a pocket and then it also comes a crossbody strap and this is how the inside looks like it has a pocket inside as well and you can just hand carry it or put the strap on the side capacity wise this is a bag that is not able to fit my iphone 13 pro max as you can see but even when i got this bag many years ago it wasn't able to fit my old iphone either so it's not as practical as my mini marcy and if i have to choose between these two the mini marcy is like really really practical the next one is my Max Mara Teddy crossbody bag. Look at how soft this teddy material it is. It's just such a cute mini crossbody and it says Max Mara here and this is the crossbody strap and you can adjust the strap to some degree. This is a giant zipper pull here which made it super cute and I really like the zipper pull. It's really easy to open and close up. There is a pocket inside and this is a big pocket and a one compartment and it can easily fit my iPhone 13 Pro Max and I after I fit my phone it still has quite some room in there. The bag feels so soft and cozy especially during cold days but I feel like for the San Francisco weather, I really could carry this bag all year long. And I just constantly reach out for this bag because it's just so easy to use and go with different so many outfits. The other thing about this bag is it's so affordable. It's I think it's about $500, but I'll link it down below for you to check it out. If you are looking for something easy grab and go and also have enough space to fit your iPhone and all the essentials that you need and this is definitely the bag I highly recommend. The next is my Chanel small boy with the top handle in the Ruthenia hardware in the calfskin and you can see the calfskin is still pretty shiny and the, the back all the corners are really good and even after many years the bag is still in such a great condition and I really like 
like the special design and this is how the back looks like top handle make the back looks really cool and this is how you open it and this bag i bought it from paris with hubby many years ago there's some scratches on the inside of the flap you probably can avoid it because you know when you open up the bag and there's also some scratches here and this is how the inside looks like and it's fabric lined i could fit my phone and i tried it's not like you after you fit your phone that you have a lot of room after all it's a mini bag but if you put your iPhone 13 Pro Max, there's still some room for you to put all your essentials. So I would say this is still a okay space bag. I feel like this boy is really, really special because it's a small size and also with the top handle, it makes me love this small boy more. So even after many, many years, I carry this small boy. I still feel like it's a really cool and a good looking bag. Also, the bag is fairly easy to care and maintain the shape very well too. And the only thing if I have to say is probably the weight of the bag. This Ruthenia hardware is just really, really heavy. The next mini bag is the Chanel Rectangular Mini in the pale pink color in the chevron pattern, brush gold hardware, and also calfskin. It's such a cute little mini bag, which I'm super grateful that I was able to get it and hunt it down. And this is how you open the bag. And uh, this is the side and this is the back and it has a Mona Lisa pocket. And this is how the inside looks like i really like the brush gold hardware because it looks so gold especially compared to the champagne gold hardware these days i like carrying this bag in different occasions and in different ways and i can adjust the, the shoulder strap by tightening a knot inside a crossbody it or carry it as a shoulder bag and even it's a mini bag it's quite small right and i can still easily fit my iphone 13 pro max in there even after i put it in there there's still a lot of room that's what i love about the rectangular mini because they're still on the classic side and the price wise is still better than the classic flat and then still very practical can carry a bunch of things and especially i got it from before and i got a, such a great price so this one is definitely a great purchase so the next mini is my chanel rectangular mini in the light beige color and the silver hardware and a caveat leather it's a very rare bag in the silver color compared to all the other bags in my collection and this is how the inside looks like and i tied a knot and the caviar leather is still feels very sturdy after many years a lot of question i got from you guys is that how i was able to not get color transfer how i was able to maintain this uh back in this kind of condition and i talk about it in my how to care for chanel bags video and also a little bit about the color transfer i'll link that video down below for you to check it out the other thing is that i will also link the leather conditioner that i use for all my chanel bags down below as well and this one was recommended by my chanel sa and it's definitely my go-to leather conditioner and this is how the back looks like it's it has the mona lisa pocket and it's the bottom and you can see all the corners are still really good this is what i have to say about the caviar leather the caviar leather is just really carefree and you don't have to worry about it and also because this is a rectangular mini and i can also easily fit my phone and besides my iphone 13 pro max and i can still fit a bunch of all the essentials i need the next mini bag is my chanel rectangular mini in the caramel color in the champagne gold hardware and lambskin from the 22s collection you know how difficult it is for me to buy a lambskin bag because i'm definitely a little worried about the wear but hopefully this bag will be able to hold up okay i still 
kept the sticker on I'm planning to wait until it peels off on its own and I think caramel it's such a beautiful color that I have been waiting and dreaming for such a long time and I missed the, the 21 P collections caramel I was really really happy that I was able to hunt it down for the 22 S and this is how the inside looks like and then there's a pocket and then there's another pocket here and this is also another Chanel bag that I started having the microchip inside on this side of the bag instead of like all my other Chanel bags are coming with their authenticity card it's able to fit my iPhone easily and it can fit a bunch of stuff and I have to say that compared to the caveat bags the lambskin definitely feels like super luxurious and re just really really pretty and with this rich color for now the mini price has already gone up like crazy in the past two years and this bag is already four thousand four hundred dollars if you watch my unboxing video and after tax it's almost five thousand dollars for such a small bag but i feel like if i don't get it now the price will be even crazier in the future if you are looking for something classic and has the look and also still more affordable than their classic flaps also something very practical that you are able to hold your iPhone then I think the rectangular mini is definitely something to go for because you never know when they will increase their price again since i have a dedicated unboxing video for this bag if you want to know all the details i'll link that video down below for you to check it out the next mini bag is my chanel square mini in the dark beige color champagne gold hardware caviar leather from the 18s collection the caviar leather feels so shiny and it's really really easy to take care and it was definitely a lot of effort effort to get this bag but I think it's all worth it and if you want to know how I get this bag I'll link that video for you <laughs> to check it out as you can see these two bags are similar but also very different in a way because one is lambskin one is caviar leather and let me know if you would like a comparison video on these two bags and I'm happy to do another comparison 18s and this is 22s I have something with the spring summer collection they all have really cute and fun bags for spring and summer right this is how the front looks like side and this is how the back looks like square mini is just always so cute with the back pocket and this is how the bottom looks like and I'll show you this is how the inside looks like also two pocket a zipper pocket with the Chanel zipper here capacity wise this one is already not able to fit my iPhone 13 Pro Max as you can see it stick out like this so it's definitely not able to fit my iPhone anymore if you're looking for something more practical that is able to fit your iPhone I would say go with rectangular mini for now their price difference is only $200 anyways but of course I understand if you like cuter like just a square looking back then this one is cuter i thought about it if i have to really pick one from my entire mini designer bag collection there's one bag that is super cute that is you maybe already guessed that is my chanel square mini it's just in such a beautiful dark beige color that also the shape and the, the square mini i know that it already cannot fit my iPhone and it's kind of hassle that I have to put my phone somewhere else when I go out but I just feel like this is still such a cute bag and I don't know if I'll, I will be able to get another square mini in the future but I feel like this is definitely favorite among all my other mini bags also considering all the effort that I put in for this bag it made this bag more special I think nowadays I definitely wouldn't have that kind of energy to chase after another bag anymore so this is definitely something special for me me to cherish so here just for you to see rectangular mini square mini 
They both are super cute. Leave me a comment down below to let me know if you want a comparison video between the Chanel 18S Square Mini and the 22S Caramel Rectangular Mini. So which one is your favorite bag among my entire mini designer bag collection? Or which one is your favorite from your collection? Leave me a comment down below to let me know. And I'll see you soon. Bye bye!